Hi, my name is Olivier Prou, senior producer here at IDOS Montreal. For the past few years, we've had the privilege to work on our version of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy and reimagine it into a single-player, story-driven, third-person action-adventure game. It's our own fresh take on the Guardians, and something that's really unique to our game is that you get to be Peter Quill. As Star-Lord, you're constantly in the middle of the action as you try to lead this band of misfits. But today, I'm really, really excited to have all of you join us on this journey, and you'll hear more about the game from our team behind this project. Right, let's do this. I've always loved Marvel's cosmic characters. Uh, growing up as a kid, I read them, enjoyed them, loved them. I uh, had the opportunity to write for Marvel on some of their cosmic titles. I went back with the help of Bill Roseman, the editor, and kind of cherry-picked characters from Marvel's past. The opportunity here was to build a team, but to make it all underdogs, so that the reader would think, oh my gosh, how is this team gonna survive? And that became the Guardians of the Galaxy comic, which we loved working on. I remember the first time that the Marvel crew came to Montreal, we were showing them the design of the characters, how they would look, and they stayed silent. I don't know if it's a minute, but in my head, it was a minute. I was like, oh my God, like they hate it. We realized how much that Marvel and Ados Montreal share and have in common, and that we knew the Guardians were in perfect hands. Looking at the samples that Bardos were kind enough to show me, I think he's fantastic, and absolutely in the spirit of what these characters are. What makes the gameplay experience unique to me is no matter in what phase of the game you are, whether you're in exploration or you're fighting, the Guardians are constantly around you and you never feel alone. While you're the leader, the Guardians will also challenge you and make decisions on their own and you will have to adapt to it. You are literally part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. The decisions you'll make will have lighthearted to hunting repercussions, and the game will react to what you do and say. Come on, no killing teammates! Says who? It's literally in your contract! I made no such commitment. You are playing as Star-Lord, and you're using your blasters, and you're using your jet boots. Star-Lord is really empowering. He's very agile on the battlefield. He can slide and over with his jet boots. Of course, he has his elemental blasters that have different powers as well. And on top of all of this, he can use the unique abilities of his guardians. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No! The story is about a group of misfits, the Guardians. In our world, they've been together for less than a year. They create something on a small scale that looks insignificant. And as they progress through the story, they discover that they created something really big that threatens the galaxy. There are a lot of very interesting villains in the Marvel franchise. And when you're starting to work on a story like this, you get to get your pick of which ones will make the best for this story. That gives us the opportunity to bring in some that are well-known, but some that are also not all that well-known. What Ados is getting so right about them is capturing what it's like to be a misfit family. They're also bringing an amazing imagination to it. You're gonna see planets and characters that are gonna blow your mind. Interpreting it in its own way, I think makes it feel incredibly fresh and exciting. It's not a matter of trying to replicate the comic or trying to replicate the film. It's trying to take the medium you're working in and make the best version of Guardians out of that. They made it fun, they made it rock and roll. They delivered everything you would want in a Guardians game.